is Shanna Dickerson. My business is the good life. I connect my clients to luxury, culture, and causes, creating breathtaking travel experiences that are truly world-class. When I search out ultra high-end vacation experiences for my clients, it's easy to think of only exotic international destinations. But really, there's a lot of places closer to home. And my company, Blue Sky Luxury Travels, specializes in finding those perfect locations. The Emerald Coast meanders along the Gulf of Mexico for about 100 miles, but I'm heading somewhere specific inside that 100 miles. It's an 18 mile stretch of upscale communities, simply known as 30A. It boasts beautiful and eclectic villages whose names often end with the word beach. So I'm coming here to see if I can create a one of a kind luxury travel experience to recommend for my clients a little closer to home. This is so cute. Hey, how are you? Great. Is it beautiful? It's so beautiful. I'm just getting into this 30A area. Oh my gosh. It is the cutest beach town ever. Oh, I am so jealous. Okay. I've got some confirmation for you. Okay. Uh, your property manager, Josh, is all set to meet you at the villa and I've got the boat confirmed. Awesome. You rock. Thank you so much. Oh, you rock. I can't wait to see pictures. Have fun and drive yes. safe. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Best assistant ever. <laughs> Here we go. Looks beautiful so far. When I arrive at a potential destination for my clients, the first thing on my checklist is checking out the property. Oh, wow. This is Josh. He is in charge of this $38,000 a week villa. Hey. Hi, it's nice to meet you. you. As well. Welcome to Reflections. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's check this place out. Well, here it is. Wow. This is beautiful. So it's four floors in total? Yes. It's okay. 6,500 square feet, 8,500 mm -hmm. square foot total. Gosh, that's, that's nice. That's big families, good family reunions, corporate retreats. That's I right. mean, there's like a whole nine yards of things you could do with this place. Oh my gosh, this is like a chef's dream, this kitchen. And right here we have the elevator. So in high season, you are 38,000 38, for the week? week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You fit right in there. Here yes, please. Yeah. I'm home. <laughs> All right, so come check out the coolest balcony in the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why they call it the Emerald Coast. <laughs> wow. Yeah, as pretty as it gets. Oh my goodness. Beautiful sugar white sand. It's really oh. the calling card for this area. What a great find. Yeah, yeah we did good. So fun. <laughs> A villa like this looks perfect for my clients, but the only way to know for sure is to experience it myself. Goodbye. morning routine is really important to me. Journaling, meditation, and yoga all get my head straight before the day begins. I've got a big day in front of me. Time to get my head in the game. Next on my checklist is getting a feel for the local culture. And there's no better way to do that than with a local. What's up? How are you? Good. Thank you. Good to see you again. It's so good to see you <laughs> it's too. Been too long. It's, been it's been too long. long. Mike, what have you dragged me out here to do? I bet it involves this. It does. This is Truman, uh, my old Land Rover Defender, and uh -huh. I imported it from Great Britain a number of years ago. And this is one of the few areas in the state where you can actually drive on the beach with a proper permit. I and love so it. I thought if you were amenable, I would at least take you for a quick ride up and down the beach and show you what the locals do here. 
are you kidding me? A vintage Land Rover on White Sand Beach? Oh yeah. Mike, let's get this adventure started. Yeah, so Grayton Beach uh, was founded in the late 1800s. It's actually one of the first communities that was established in this part of Florida. Kind of got a bohemian vibe to it, you know. It served as the architectural inspiration for a lot of the developments like in the seaside and watercolor. Right. Um, and you know, and then Alice Beach and Rosemary came along and tried something different. But a lot really of the yeah. yeah, a lot of the original Florida architecture uh, it came from Great Beach. You have to have a permit to do this, correct? Yeah, they have a lottery every year. I think they draw 150 names. You have to be a local. But if you don't have a permit, you can still get out here and enjoy this beach. Number one, the best way is, of course, electric bikes. You can actually get out and pedal on the sand, so it's a great way to explore. So you got a hook up for those bikes? Uh, yeah. Jeff. Hey, Hi. Welcome to Yellowboard Bike. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right. So tell me what you got going on here. This seems pretty exciting. Well, it's going to be a fun day. We've got some electric bikes that we're going to get on. Ooh. Yellowboard and Bike was established as a paddle boarding company. And uh, over the years, we found that when we weren't uh, paddling, we were pedaling. So in the last couple of years, we've added electric bicycles to that our lineup. so cool. Well, I want to ride on the beach. I heard that's a thing. It, it's it, a special thing, but I heard it's a thing. It's definitely a thing, and uh, so I got the can perfect we do that? bike okay, for it. Absolutely. Great. Let me introduce you to the Yolo Bolt. The big feature here is this big fat tire, and then it's got our motor in the back to assist us. Wow. So this thing's going to help propel us and ride on the beach. Jeff, you have no idea how ready I am for this. All right, so when you press down on that, when it goes around, it's gonna thrust you, so be ready for a little thrust. Okay. Ah! No, it's good, I feel it. Go to level two. Okay. This thing can fly. Oh, this thing will go 25 miles an hour. <laughs> You're really lucky to be able to have this. This is this is so great here. One of the things I love to do is I love to just pull right up here, like maybe bring a cigar, turn on my music, and just uh, relax and also get work done. This is my office for the day. I love it. This looks a little rough right now, yeah. but I'd love to get in and actually go explore. You know these beautiful waters. So of course everybody knows the Gulf of Mexico is one of the big draws, but. There's definitely something special right back here. All right. So this is where the locals hang out. This is what we call a coastal dune lake. So a coastal dune lake is pretty rare because they only happen naturally a few places in the world. Uh, Madagascar, New Zealand, and here. And we're fortunate to have 15 or 16 of these lakes. What makes it a coastal dune lake is that when the lake fills up with water, it breaches actually through the sand dunes. And then there's this exchange of water and sea life. So it's not uncommon for saltwater critters to find their way you know, into the lakes. And then the waves naturally seal the dunes back up. So one of the fun things to do is you can put your paddle board in over at the dock um, and paddle through this incredible preserve. Nothing beats paddle boarding for me. I love it, it clears my head, and paddle boarding the coastal dune lake was about as cool as it gets. And then when you get here, you either, if you're lucky, it's open to the Gulf and you can just cruise on through. If not, you've got to 
at least possibly drag your board across okay, the sand dunes. Okay, well, it's dunes. not too far. There is a reward. Once you get out on the gulf, then it's just a short paddle away to the artificial reef. This is Turtle Reef. The cool thing about it is from the air, you can see that the reef is shaped like a turtle. So the Turtle Reef is right over here off Great Beach State Park. So the best way to do it, the lo local authentic way to do it, is to hop on a paddleboard and just get out there. One of the things that is really important to my clients is the local culture. So can you give me like the highlights of that? Yeah, there's kind of like a flip-flop renaissance happening here. There's all this culture being created by all the artisans and musicians who call this home. So they have the 30A Songwriters Festival every that January. Awesome. Then we have Digital Graffiti at Alice Beach. Um, it's the world's first projection festival. So it's projection is, art. Artists come from all so over the cool. world. It is amazing. And then also right over here, you've got the uh, one of the first art installations actually under the sea. Never heard of anything like that before. Yeah, so, you know, we don't have a pass to the Gulf here. Uh, we've got the bay and we've got the beautiful Gulf of Mexico, but they're not connected. So you actually have to go about 25 minutes either direction to get to a major uh, harbor, um, but they're still tricks. So if you know the right people, you can just hop right off of this And if beach. you're here, you already know the right people because everybody <laughs> knows everybody here. Walt. Yes, Hi. Hey, how I'm are you? Shanna. How are you doing? Shanna, good to, good meet, to you. meet you. We're headed out to the Underwater Museum of Art, or UMA, as I like to call it. Okay. It's the first uh, permanent underwater sculpture exhibit wow. in the uh, U.S. Um, it's about 60 feet down, and there's 17 sculptures there right oh now. Oh my gosh, wow, that's Fantastic. awesome. So this is how we do this? This is how we do it. <laughs> Here in Grayton Beach, it's pretty special because we can launch directly off the beach. This makes it less than a mile, so we're talking about maybe five, six minutes to get out there. Sounds good. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. All righty, guys. We're here. All right. Get in the water. Hey, this is fun for me, but when it comes to my clients, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Now this is more like it. 30A might not be the hot spot for luxury yachts, but that doesn't mean I can't drive half an hour to Destin to get my fix for the day. Now it's time to hit the water. Today, it's a brand new 70-foot yacht with three staterooms, each with their own bathroom, plus crew quarters and common areas that accommodate eight people comfortably. Not too shabby. Where we're at here in Destin, it's, we're centrally located on the panhandle of Florida. East of here, you can go all the way to Apalachicola. And then if you go west, we run into Pensacola. Mm -hmm. um, and you can go all the way to New Orleans very easily. Yeah, this is, this is definitely something that my clients would love. So y'all really nailed it. Thank you. Thank you. So we're at Crab Island. This is, I guess, quite the hang for anywhere in this area. Yes, it is. It's, it's a <laughs> hot spot here. Yeah. In the summertime, it gets quite, quite busy. Completely packed. And some boats will tie off, and people are cooking. Oh, uh, fun. They're, they're dancing. You've got loud stereo music, and it's very, very festive. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a blast. It is. It is a lot of fun. Experiencing such luxury should never be taken for granted. So last on my checklist is finding a great cause that my clients and I can give back to. One of the most important things to me and my clients is being able to come to a destination and give back. And one of the things that's dearest to my heart are no-kill animal shelters. You couldn't have asked for a better spot. There's Aliqua Animal Refuge. <laughs> created by Lori Hood. Lori um, houses hundreds of animals. It has become a major operation, but also a major charity in our area that people contribute to. So I encourage you to go out and visit her. You're not gonna believe what she's building. Yeah, your heart is a sun, and it shines as it opens. Well, your heart is a sun, and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart. You must be Lori. I am. Hey, Hi, Shanna. Lori. 
Hi. How so are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being here. Oh, this is my favorite part of the whole trip down here. So thank you. It's All an right. honor. So let's show you around. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. Why would you look so there's animals everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yes. All of the world inside. Why would you look outside yourself when you so it's interesting because we're the only place that takes all kinds of animals. Yes. So we have bunnies and we have chickens that live out here and all different rabbits. They're all up for adoption. Hey, Elmo. Hi. 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 <laughs> so we've grown into a facility that we provide shelter, safety, and second chances I for animals. I love that. And why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? I want you to meet Miss Martha. Hi, Miss Martha. <laughs> oh. Are you happy to be here? Yes, you love your Lori, don't you? Yes, you do. Hi, Martha. You want to get your checkup? Come on. <laughs> this dog has already gained seven pounds in just a week and a half. We can already see that her skin hair. is improved. Her hair is coming back. She doesn't itch bad like she was nonstop mm -hmm. itching. Her eyes are not oozing and crusty. So a lot of good things are happening with oh, Martha. Yes. You and go, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> well, good work, guys. I have a lot more to show you. You want to go okay. see some more? Let's go okay. see some more, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most of these animals are sanctuary animals, okay. so they're part of like a, a program now we do with children that come out for a little petting zoo educational program. You are getting a goat. <laughs> you want some attention? Aww. Champers. Hi. So Champ is a, our mascot here because. Uh -huh. He was a cruelty case that we actually won. It was the first one that the county had ever prosecuted. And the cool thing about that is after his case, he inspired us to teach law enforcement training all over the state. That hair is so great. Look at it. Okay. Come through here. So these little guys came from a case in another state, actually, and an individual had um, been hospitalized and was not coming back out, and he had 24 dogs at his home. Um, so they were in very, very, very poor shape. Um, he was living in squalor. It was, mm -hmm. it was one of the worst I've ever seen, and I've seen some pretty bad cases. Yeah. We took 14 dogs that day. Some were in such poor condition they were not able to be saved. Um, but these guys were, and uh, you know, they've come so far in just two weeks, and they will um, make great pets. They're up for adoption, and we actually have a foster that's going to come get them this afternoon and oh, take them okay. together oh, good. and bring them to her home because oh, you can see this one's just. He's a little more shy. He's a little more but shy. But sweet. He's so sweet. They don't have too. a mean bone in their body. Yeah. <laughs> so, how can someone like me and my clients help you? Well, you know, we started this um, on a wing and a prayer, basically, mm -hmm. you know, and so, you know, it's very expensive. It's um, right now it's about $150,000 a month just to operate. Oh my gosh. And, you know, we're moving to 100 acres, so it's 10 times more the size. Yeah. And monetary donations are always the best because right. we can utilize that in whatever capacity we need. But we need volunteers, and we need fosters, and we need adopters, and we need ambassadors, mm -hmm. and you know, someone like you that can tell our story. Well, you have an ambassador right here, so I'm really excited to work with you. Thank you. I'm excited to have you. I think we're going to do great things. We're going to do really <laughs> great things. I can feel it. Yep, we I are. I can feel it. I want to take this little guy home. <laughs> Yep, with unquestionable luxury, culture, and a cause this special, I'd say my 38 checklist is complete. But that doesn't mean my trip is over. That just means it's time to celebrate. And on 38, you don't have to go big. Nah. But you have to go in style. No. Okay, I admit it. I am completely obsessed with Wonder Woman. Can you blame me? 
Yeah, this is the one. Chef Philip. Hey, Hi. Anna, how are you? Thank you so much for coming to sure, do this absolutely. for us. What a special experience. It's going to be really nice. Wow. Yeah. Philip McDonald is the executive chef and part owner of one of the most popular restaurants on 30A. But tonight, he's getting back to his roots for a private in Villa Chef experience for me and my new friends. So what are you cooking for us tonight? So tonight, we're just kind of doing a dinner that's based on seasonality. OK, you are speaking my language, Phil, because when it comes to farm to table, and in this case, golf to table, eating local is always in season. At the end of the day, this area is all about friends and family. You know, it's about connecting with uh, your peers and, and breaking bread and sharing wine and listening to music and enjoying the simple pleasures of life. So. Well, you know, I happen to have a really special evening, 30A style. So I may have awesome. something in the works for you, Mike. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Count me in. I'll bring right. Angela and we'll do this. Dinner, everybody. <laughs> everybody, this is Saul. He's a Grammy nominated musician. Yes, wow. this is a big deal that Man. he is here. Cool. <laughs> and so I feel very grateful and appreciative that you came to join us and thank you so much. How about I just share a song? That sounds great. Let's do it. Let's, do it. Let's hear it. Yeah. Awesome. Rise to the moment, rise to the occasion. Open your eyes, recognize there's greatness. Within your reach, you should seize it, you should take it. Can you see it? Can you taste it? Hard work and the plan as a recipe For success to the launch you where them blessings be The road to riches though, that's where them testers be What a way to end the perfect trip Rise, rise, and open your eyes Now is the time for you to shine Won't you help me sing? Rise, rise, and open your eyes Well, thank you so much for bringing me out here today. I had sure, such a course. great time, and thank you for all the local inside info. Well, Not only is it helpful for me, but it's so helpful for my clients. So thank you very much. You're going to have a blast. Welcome to 38. Thanks. All right, let's go. Right, let's get let's out of here before the sun sets on us. For you to shine, yeah. The day was everything I expected and more. I'm looking forward to the next destination, which is sure to be world class. Cheers!